Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk about something that just dropped in my mind. Picture this. You know me and my analogies, so just go with me, okay? I'm an old woman. What can I say? Humor me. You're going up a hill. You're in an old car. And it's, it's not that strong. It doesn't function that well, but it gets you where you need to go. And there's been a lot of damage from years of use. But you've taken care of it the best you could. And now you're getting ready to go up a hill. And the hill is getting steeper and steeper and steeper. But you're finding it difficult. And you notice that as you look at the radiator, you know, you know you're watching your instruments. And you notice that the gauge of your radiator is moving up higher and higher. And it's indicating that your engine's getting overheated while it's pulling up the load you have in the car. Now you may have furniture in that car, you may have equipment in the car, but it's heavy. And you're trying to pull. It's not that you need the equipment, is that you won't let it go because you've had it all your life and you don't want to throw anything away so you take the old beat up stuff from years ago that nobody uses that has no value you bring it everywhere you go every time you move you take it with you and your car is getting hotter and hotter and hotter and it's pulling harder and it's under more and more of a strain and you know why because you won't throw it away you don't have to put that car through that but you do anyway don't you think about that when you won't let things go when you keep rehashing everything they said to you when you were three years old when you were seven or eight years old what mama didn't do for you what daddy didn't do for you not knowing who mama is not knowing who your father is wondering if anybody ever loved you wondering if all your failures were because of everybody else who failed you you can do that if you want. But you know what it'll end up doing? Not only will it overheat your car, I'm back to the car now. Not only will it overheat your car, but it could damage your engine if it overheats too far and too long. Your life can be damaged. That car will never make it. He, it will never make it to the destination you have ahead of you because you have overworked it and it can't function under that kind of a load under that type of strain you don't want to bust a rod you don't want to ruin the engine you don't want to just totally destroy it where it's no good for anything well let me ask you please don't ruin your engine don't ruin your life. Don't go beyond the point of no return and live with such a life of bitterness that you just can't function. You can't move forward. You can't get to your goal. You're crippled. You're lame. You can't think straight. You're confused and full of emotional baggage and, and, and you're full of anger and rage that you really can't cope your coping skills are just gone whatever you do ask god he's the only one who can pour that living water of his into your overheated engine and heal your heart he's the one that can remove all that old garbage and clear your car out clear your life out clear out the clutter and enable you to move forward without dead weight dragging you down and slowing you down and hindering you sabotaging your own progress 
I'm going to leave you with that. God bless you. Amen. Amen.